Hey up, welcome back. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to show you a tool now. Most people will have some variant of this in their house. It's just some of everyone's used. Um, you get loads of different brands, shapes, sizes, everything. So I thought I'd uh, show you what I've got, give you my thoughts on it. And uh, it's a it's a tool that I use a lot and never really think about it. It's just some of some of the yeah. So yeah, let's uh, dive in and have a quick look at it. Love this toolbox. If you're new to the channel and you've not seen it, I will uh, leave a link to the uh, review video I did of this. And obviously, the tool that I'm talking of is a Stanley knife. Pretty much every house has got some kind of knife like this in it. So we'll, uh, we'll have a up close look at this. I'll give you my thoughts on it and why I particularly went for this this one. So as you can see, this is the Stanley Fat Max. It's a, a nice compact size. Feels nice to hold. You know, it's a safe knife to have if you, like, as you can see, you can quite easily put this in your pocket or it has got a belt clip um, to open it up just simply pull it open it does lock in place so I'll just uh, get a measuring utensil so looking at that it's about six and a quarter inches round about that anyway then you've got your button on top, which slides. Obviously, you've got your different locking positions in that. Nice bit of a rubber grip there for when you're really having to put a bit of force on. And then button here, which is for your quick blade change. Just spin that around trying to do this while I'm looking through my camera screen it's a bit awkward but yeah so then that locks in place there is a bit of movement in it but not not a great deal when you look here you've got a wire stripper there which ah, I must not have put that in right it's not, uh, oh, that's better, that's probably why there was so much movement in it, I'd not actually put the blade back in properly, there is still a little bit of movement in it, but not, not a great deal, but like I was saying, you look here, you've got a little uh, wire stripper or you know box opener or whatever you want to use for that, don't know why you'd use that for opening box instead of just going like that but <clears throat> yeah it is what it is and if you look we've got another little button here if you press that your back opens up you've got spare blades uh, you can fit more than one blade in here I, I believe it had three blades in when I got it and so that's a nice feature easy quick access to all your blades and uh, it just feels nice it's a nice blade to use right one of my modular tray boxes 
I've not chucked it in the bin yet, so we'll just get it. I mean, obviously, you know what a bloody knife cuts like, but it's uh, it's nice. It's got a nice feel to it. You know, like you use it just like an all, any normal knife. It's just, uh, it's nice to be able to stick it in your pocket. Easy, easy to work. It's not over complicated. Now, yeah, obviously it's not a overly exciting tool review this time, but it's a knife that, you know, everybody should have some kind of variant of this. Uh, now, if you're in the UK, if anyone says, don't matter what brand or what style or anything, it, even like this, if somebody says, you got a Stanley knife, you know exactly what they mean. <laughs> you just get them a, a knife, whichever one it is. Um, they all sort of come under the same name in the UK. Um, even though Stanley is a brand, it's just the well-known for Stanley knives and it's it's a useful tool to have and it's one of them tools that seems to get a bit overlooked you know it's uh, everybody has used one at some point and this is a nice little uh, you know you fit it in your pocket really nicely or like I say I've got a, a little buckle uh, belt clip on it so yeah I thought I'd give you a quick look at that and uh, that's that then so if you enjoyed the video remember whack this subscribe button here uh, i'll leave some links to like my toolbox and stuff like that in comments or they'll pop up here and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next one cheers